Hi everyone, welcome back to Splash Page. I'm Sean and as always I'm joined by Andrew and we're finally back to talk about the reason we started this YouTube channel, the show Invincible. We're back, it's been so long. We are getting season two and season two will be launching on November 3rd of this year. Yes, I hear we're getting half a season, four episodes, and then the other half in January. Yeah, apparently a report from The Hollywood Reporter is saying basically they want to break up the season to give them content that will run for a little bit longer, which, you know, if it doesn't go over the holidays, completely fine in my book. That's true. We're going to miss Christmas so break. Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the trailer that was released at San Diego Comic-Con. And then we're also obviously well aware there was a secret episode uh, dropped last night, which is episode zero of season two that really focused around Adam Eve. And we're going to have a full review on that in a separate video. So jumping into the trailer. It starts at graduation with Principal Winslow giving a speech to the graduating students saying, for some of you, it seems like this day may never come. And maybe you're wondering if you're ready for this, for what comes next. And Andrew, as we talked about, this is obviously them speaking both to the students that are graduating, but I think more importantly to us, the audience, who have been waiting yeah. and are, are not ready for what they've cooked up for us. And if there's anyone I trust, it's Reginald Bell Johnson telling me it's coming back. If it was any other character, I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only Winslow, baby. And so from there, we cut to the audience and we see Eve, William, and Amber sitting all in a line next to an empty chair, and that empty chair is obviously meant for Mark, and Mark is not there because he's out doing invincible things. But did you notice that behind Principal Winslow, we see that they are the graduating class of 2023. This begs the question, are we jumping in the future at all, or is this just kind of like a, hey, we kind of messed up for two years, and now we're just gonna put it in present day, because we know as of season one, Mark was looking at colleges and we were assuming he was a senior. So it's not like two years magically passed <laughs> between that time. I think they might not just be taking the timeline too seriously. Yeah, I mean, it's television and we're watching it in real time, but this is meant for rewatches as well. They want everyone to rewatch it for years to come. There's then a clip of Invincible in a field. His nose is bleeding and there are a bunch of Doc Seismic's Magnemites that are knocked out all around him. A little bit later in the trailer, we do see Dr. Seismic near the Washington Monument and he's the leader of the Magnemites. So we're not surprised to see him back and we're certainly not surprised to see him near another monument. Yeah, he's really got a problem with monuments. We then have Mark say, you have no idea what I'm capable of with a kind of tinted red coloring on him. Later on in the trailer, we do see this kind of red circle around the city. So I'm wondering if these are from the same things, but honestly, I don't know what this red tint is. Yeah, I don't know who he's fighting in that moment, but we also saw Omni-Man last season fighting the Flaxons on that red planet where he ripped everything apart and it was generally red. So that could be a tie-in with that. Yeah, maybe another Flaxon invasion. Not quite possibly. We then see Mark as Invincible on this huge screen in front of a lot of destruction and there's just this single man standing there. Now I've tried to zoom in and, and be able to absolutely identify who this is, but I wasn't able to. So I'm just going to take a guess and I think it's Angstrom Levy. That was going to be my guess. Who we know is going to be new to the series, but he's a pretty important character in the comics. So we know he's going to be there and this season we should see his origin and a bit more about him. And considering he's so prominently shown on the promotional poster that came out about a week ago, um, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is probably him. A quick little side note on his origin is he blames Invincible for destroying basically his life and, and the world around him. So he discovers that he has the power to jump between realities and go into what you would consider the multiverse with the one mission of killing Invincible. Uh, and he's, you know, a pretty important bad guy in the book. So we're excited to kind of see him and, and have him brought into the cartoon. Yeah, no, he was one of my favorites and his story took a very strange turn that at first I was not happy with, but it works out really well. Invincible is then flying around. It looks like this scene might be taken directly from the fight against Omni-Man in Chicago. We then cut to Tether Tyrant and Magmaniac coming out of a bank. Honestly, I didn't remember them from the comic kind of being around after Machine Head, but 
they basically become roommates and haven't been doing crime for a little while, try to lay low, yeah. but eventually decide that they want to rob an armored truck and Invincible fights them with another character who hasn't been introduced yet into the show, but also hasn't been shown in this trailer. So we're just going to leave that out. Um, we don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. But this is just a further nod to kind of how out of order the show is to the comic. Also, I'm hoping, like we had the Adam Eve special episode, we get a spin-off of Tether Tyrants and Meg Maniac. Oh, I'd love to see that. Couple, Just like, yeah. And then we have a montage of kind of the actors' names and a clip of them saying something. So we have Debbie saying, I didn't know who he was. And we have to assume here that she's talking about Omni-Man, because obviously the last season had the big reveal of kind of their whole marriage was a lie to an extent. We hear Alan the Alien say, I don't fight friends because I would win, which is just kind of this nonsensical statement, but also kind of makes sense. So it's perfect for both Seth Rogen to say it, but Alan the Alien to be the character that brings that to life. This is all intercut with Invincible fighting the Immortal, who we know uh, will not trust Invincible starting the season, considering what just happened with the Immortal being cut in half for the second time on the show in, you know, eight episodes. Amber then says, never apologize for saving lives. Amber, who Mark and Amber broke up at the end of last season, it appears that she will have a role in this second season, which you'd assume she would, but in the comics, they really wind down that character pretty quickly. So curious to see how long they keep her around and really what her role is going to be. Cecil then says, there's only one way this kid gets back out there and it's on a very short leash. Obviously, with Mark being Nolan's son, his loyalties are going to be really up for question. So it's going to take a while for the Mark and Cecil relationship to be mended. But who's to say they even want it mended, to be honest with you? Yeah, if it ever gets mended. Yeah. We hear from Adam Eve saying, I'm just happy to be helping people. We have a whole episode review coming for the Adam Eve secret episode that dropped. So... At the end of this video, we'll probably have a little screen that links to that video once we get that video live, but expect that in the next 24 hours. Super excited that we have a secret episode, but man, did they catch us off guard with just dropping that randomly. <laughs> That's what they've been doing <laughs> this whole time. Yeah, everything just comes at you quick, and then yeah. you gotta wait. Rexplode says, you know people try to kill us every single day, right? Which is, again, just Rexplode being Rexplode. When this is said, though, we see Invincible in the Shadowverse versus Darkwing 2. I made a mention of this in our Darkwing Explained video, that he has the power to go into a different and very dangerous reality through shadows. Darkwing 2 is kind of a Robin to Darkwing that once Darkwing dies, he took over the mantle and he's pissed at Invincible. He blames Invincible for Darkwing 1's death, so he tries to trap him in the Shadowverse. Then we hear Black Samson say, I don't care how old he is, he needs to go down, which I'm assuming is about Mark, but really it could be about another character that hasn't been introduced yet. Um, again, the story is so jumbled, we don't really know who he's talking about, and honestly, these are all being said about Mark. There wouldn't be much mystery behind this trailer, so, you know what I'm saying? Well, they're, they're all meant to sound like they're being said about Mark, so that we get freaked out, but yeah, that's a kind of a non-sequitur, good guy fight line that could be said about anyone. Right. And then at this point, we see uh, Mark fighting one of the Mauler twins. Maybe if you train more and complain less, we would get back out to saving lives. And we're pretty sure that this is the Immortal. It's probably just the Immortal trying to get the Guardians of the Globe back in action. The trailer then cuts to saying, and new people in season two. And the first line we hear is, make him pay for what he did to your world. And since this is in that kind of new season area, I'm assuming this is Angstrom Levy. And that's really kind of what his story is anyway. So I'm assuming that this is maybe even him talking to himself from another multiverse. Yeah, that's a good point. Welcome, son of he who slayed my husband. Andrew, any guesses on who says this? We've discussed earlier, but it's got to be Aquarius' wife, right? Yeah, it's kind of this really weird issue of the comic that seems very one-off to me where Invincible has to go down to Quaris's realm and deal with the repercussions of him being dead. They we'll spoil what happens there, but like, I don't know. What did you think of that issue? It was beautifully drawn and ultimately meaningless. I'm a normal human superhero. This is voiced by Ben Schwartz. I'm pretty sure this is going to be Shapesmith. And I'm saying that for two reasons. The first is Shapesmith is kind of a goofy character, which totally fits with the voice acting. 
And two, um, the, the statement is normal human superhero, and we know that Shape Smith is a Martian. It's the Martian that actually uh, replaced the, the astronaut on Mars. The next two statements, I'm not sure who says these, so I'd love to hear in the comment section who you guys think say these. The first one was, I wish he was dead too, but not for your sake. And then the second in some kind of German or, or foreign accent is, kill first, ask questions later. So let us know who you think says those lines, which characters, because they're both badass lines. <laughs> I just don't know what they're attached to. Yeah, I, I, we'll have to speculate until we find out. Exactly. Then we see Thaddeus, uh, who makes an appearance, saying, Viltrumite versus Viltrumite. That hasn't happened since the Great Purge. Thaddeus is a great character and certainly won't spoil everything that goes on with him, but he is the leader of the Coalition of Planets, and the way that that attaches to the world that we currently know in the cartoon is the fact that that is the organization that Alan the Alien works for. And the Great Purge was that episode we saw last season of Omni-Man explaining to Mark the reality of his history where everyone killed each other, correct? Right, yeah. yes. Yeah, great call. And then finally, Omni-Man says, you should have died at birth. And now I think we're all assuming that he's talking to Mark and similarly to what we mentioned earlier, I, I hope it's not, you yeah. know, especially after watching the, the secret Adam and Eve episode that dropped last night. There's this kind of scene in the Grayson household in the post credits where Omni-Man again kind of comes off as this like villainous mean person with this really over the top reaction to something that's not that big of a deal really. And in the comic, having Mark kind of softened Nolan, in my opinion, he's a bit more empathetic in the comic. It seemed more like it was a battle of loyalty in his heart. That being said, he did kill a bunch of people. So I'm not gonna say he's a good guy by any means. He certainly should be positioned as a villain, but I don't know, what do you think, Andrew? Did you feel like Nolan was kind of unjustly handled? unjustly handled in last season absolutely not and yeah. again that line is one of those badass lines that could be said to anyone but mm -hmm. nolan if you handle him any differently then he doesn't get what he rightly deserves that's an amazing character i will say that you know a lot of these aspects and a lot of things that we saw here are a big departure from the comics because Omni-Man is gone for like 15 straight comics. And as we've mentioned many times before, there's just no way you let J.K. Simmons take off a full season or even a few episodes. So, Andrew, I just want to ask you a few questions coming out of this. Okay. Uh, what new character are you most excited about? Well, obviously it's going to be Angstrom Levy because he's such a phenomenal character. But now that I'm thinking about it, that's a very obvious answer. And you mentioned it in the trailer. Very excited for Darkwing 2 because that's an interesting, fun storyline. Short, I believe, in the comics, but very fun. Now what I'm going to ask you guys, the viewers, is down in the comments, let us know where you think the season ends if you've read the comic. Or what you're most excited about from this trailer. Now that, you know, we have all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for hanging with us in the dark ages of the two and a half years between episodes for Invincible. If you do want to read the comic, down in the comments is a link to the first volume of Invincible, and if you click on that link and buy through it, we make a small, small commission at no extra cost to you. Also want to say that we do have an Etsy page up and running selling splash page t-shirts if anyone wants to buy love you guys to rep the brand and finally please like and subscribe as we will continue to make invincible content uh, as often as we can and there's the video for our adam eve episode coming out shortly and to anyone that's watched our videos because of righteous gemstones or because of silo we're going to keep making videos on those shows as well so a lot to come from splash page and thank you guys so much for sticking around with us andrew anything else I'll see you all in November. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, everyone. Take it easy, YouTube. Later.